Welcome to another Mass Transit Commute. I want to introduce you to the Mass Transit Templates today. This is a new project that takes advantage of .NET New and lets you create really simple startup projects to kind of get going with Mass Transit. So to install the templates, we're going to use the .NET New dash I to install, and then we're going to type Mass Transit .template. This is going to go out to NuGet. It's going to pull down that package, and it's going to register some new types for us to uh, use within our things. You can see here it even shows us like MT State Machine, MT Consumer, all this fun stuff. So let's get started. I'm going to create a simple worker service with Mass Transit. So I'm going to say .NET New MT Worker, and I'm going to give it a name called Worker Service. Once I change into that directory, I can do a .NET build. We're going to see that build. But it's really just an empty project right now. If I look at the uh, program CS, I'm going to see that it has the add mass transit. It sets an in-memory saga repository. It adds all the consumer sagas and activities from the current assembly. And then it starts up using in-memory. So pretty simple, pretty, pretty straightforward. Let's add some consumers. Let's say .NET new MT consumer. Let's call this the submit order consumer. And while we're here, let's just do a .NET new MT state machine. And we're gonna call this the order processing state machine. Now, if I look in my project, I have a contracts folder, which if I look in contracts, I can see that I have two message types. One's a submit order and one's an order processing event. And then I have consumers, which is my submit order consumer, along with a submit order consumer definition. So I got that definition file in there. And if I look at state machines, I have my order processing state, order processing state machine, and then a saga definition for that order processing state. Now if I do a .NET run, it should build that up. You can see that it created two endpoints, submit order and order processing state, and those are ready to go. They're all set. They're gonna start running. Um, but this is just in memory, just a simple test to get started and get those initial things set up. Another template that's available is a Docker template with RabbitMQ. So let's create one of those. So let's do .NET new. We're going to call this uh, MT Docker, and we're going to give it a name of Docker service. And we spell service right. Once I go into the Docker service, we're going to create those same things we created before. Let's create a new consumer. And let's create a new state machine also. Now, if I look what's in here, I have a Docker Compose, I have a Docker file, I have all my app settings, everything is ready to go. So I'm just gonna do a Docker Compose build. And this will actually go out and build that worker. We can see it building, it's running, doing all of its things, getting it from the ASP.NET time. Once it's built, we're successfully built. Now we can do a Docker Compose up. You can see that the two endpoints were configured still, but we're waiting for RabbitMQ to get started because it hasn't started yet. Now we'll see the service actually kick in. We can see that the worker connected to the RabbitMQ broker it is up and running. We can prove it's up and running by going out to the RabbitMQ uh, management console. When we go and look at the queues, we can see there's two queues. I have a submit order queue, which has a binding to the submit order contract, the message that was created as part of creating the consumer. We also have the order processing state, which has a binding to the contracts order processing event, which was added with the state machine just to show how that gets started. So with that, that's running up in RabbitMQ. It's all in Docker. It's all runnable. If I actually come in here and say Docker Compose Stop uh, Worker, I can actually just do a .NET run, and I can actually run that locally while connecting to that Docker, that RabbitMQ that's running within localhost through the Docker Compose. So we can start up this thing. So a lot of flexible options, super easy to get up and running and get started. That's the new mass transit templates. You can get them off NuGet as mass transit.templates just using .NET new install, and you're good to go. Thanks for joining. We'll catch you next time.